Friend, I was looking at pictures from this summer, and you were looking. Yeah. Well, that's over. Here, yeah, Rory. What were they cheering? So we're just watching Kobe's final game. He's dropped 45. Um, 50 to end. He's got to hit 50. There's like, what, less than five minutes left in the game? He's got to go on a tear. He's a player class style play. Draining buckets. Is that Kobe's life? Wow. Can't not break this. That is awesome. Fifty one. Man, why not try to go for sixty? Play out every possession. Not many people can do really that right there. Oh my god, he's so good at that. The little bank shot. Jay-Z. Jehovah. That man does not age. He's, he's a fan, bro. Five for 20 from the arc. <laughs> 25%. I love it. He's throwing his three-point percentage out the window. He's, he wants... Points. I don't know. No one go looks oh. like at a field goal training. Woo! Um, this is epic. That, he was, can get, that was an orchestrated mambo move. Yeah, he can get 60. You could do it. Dude, you can do 60, yo. Yeah. He might. Like, he gets two more twos and a three. They have a lot of timeouts. Nah, there's no way it makes it. They have four timeouts. Get the ball to 24. Mamba, baby. Mamba. Black Mamba. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> Insane. <laughs> oh! Kobe. He's just on fire. He's actually on fire. He might get 60. He's gotta hit 60. 58 points! Amazing. Hot what damn. a statement. We are watching history. <laughs> it's amazing. This fourth quarter has been money, games. man. He's like, yo, Kobe's gonna win this game again. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Like, nah. That's what he's done so I'll far. He's... Yeah! Uh, he's gonna Probably like 10, 20. Yeah. Definitely get a statue. I don't even know. Maybe well, if they already have, if they already have a Shaq one. Five yeah. championships, you probably you should get a statue. Yeah. Shaq I'm pretty sure they have one. They definitely have Korean. I don't know if they have Shaq. Get it to Kobe. Assist. Bang. Just watch Kobe Bryant have an epic final game. He put down 60 points uh, in a comeback win. Like. When we started watching, there was about 10 minutes left. He had 40, no, he had 37, and he just went on a tear at the end of the fourth quarter. Uh, came back from a four point deficit and sealed the deal. I am just finishing up exporting the, the third video. It is currently in the process of loading up onto YouTube. Um, I put a lot of time into that video uh, just for fun. I mean, I'm learning iMovie and uh, I'm enjoying the process and I'm having fun with adding different sound effects and um, different transitions and stuff. So let me know what you guys thought of the last video. And uh, yeah, and this video, of course, you know, this channel's for you. This channel's to help you. So I want to hear from you and I want to hear what you like, what you don't like. I'm going to break my 24 odd hour fast. Something I'm very excited to eat. Roast beef, spaghetti squash, scalloped potatoes, 
avocado and kale salad, a little bit of broccoli. And my favorite little diet hacks, which is horseradish mustard. Like this is zero cows, zero calories. Can't beat it, can't beat it, you just can't beat it. Um, I'm gonna have a avocado with some salt and some pepper because uh, I feel like my meal tonight was quite low on fat. Uh, probably the only fat I got from that was the, the beef, I'm guessing. The beef, maybe some oils somewhere along the line, but definitely didn't get enough of fat, so I'll have some of this delicious avocado that's perfectly ripe. And also, before bed tonight, I'm going with the, uh, the ketchup. Classic ketchup, Canadian flavor pop chips. Bryden had some friends over playing basketball. It's getting kind of dark out. Gonna bring them a light. Oh, very carefully have to move this giant light up this flight of stairs without breaking anything. I'm not trying to make a fail army video here, you know what I mean? All right. Thursday hoops. Thursday hoops. Tonight for dinner, that my friends is just about three chicken breasts, a quinoa, kale, and sweet potato salad, and some green beans. And so that is what I'm gonna be enjoying, but first I need to earn my meal, so I'm gonna go on a walk. I'm gonna do about 30 to 45 minutes. I've decided that it'll be in my best interest to have a wee bit of chicken just before the walk, just for some extra carbs, you know. Can you blame me? Can you blame me for wanting a little bite of chicken? Mmm. Mmm. Bellissima. I'm gonna go get this walk out of the way so I can earn my meal. God, somebody has lost a boot. Did somebody happen to lose a boot somewhere in Canada? About somewhere just about the, the range of Canada. Because we we seem to have uh well we seem to have found a boot. Oh, oh, fail army. Coming for you that time. Forgot and my knees kind of fucked up. I kind of fucked up my knee last summer at a Canada Day party. And for those of you who don't know, July 1st is Canada Day here, which is basically, it's like Independence Day. But way better, because it's Canadian, of course. Anyway, there was a big pool party at the house, and we were playing catch, and my cousin Bryden was tossing me 
footballs and I was running and jumping into the pool and trying to make a spectacular catch. We tried it a couple times and couldn't get the timing down. And of course, the last time that we go to do it, um, Bryden launches a deep bomb and I'm running up to it, right? And I'm like, I can make the catch. So I, I just line up the ball. I had a couple beers by this time and I wasn't thinking and launched myself to where I should be to catch the ball, not realizing that it was offline from the pool. So I dove and I was very fortunate because I was lucky enough to come down with only one quarter of my body on the cement that outlined the pool. Uh, luckily three quarters of my body landed in the pool. So I had a pretty, pretty bad bruise. I never had the doctors look at it. I was just like, you know what? It's gonna get better, it's gonna get better. It hasn't really been able to recover just yet. Other than that, feeling great. Talons are coming off. I saw my, I was looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like, wow, it's, it's coming along. Alrighty, just getting in from the walk. It was a cool night. It was a pretty cool night here in Toronto. Uh, let's check the step counter, let's see what this thing says. You know, I've had people tell me this thing's off. I think it's the calories that they're saying is low, but hey, this will give you a ballpark idea. I guess a base, a base of what you did. So the base of what I did tonight, there it is. So 3,608 steps for 204 calories. 36 minute walk, 3.18 3 kilometers. I'm happy with that. An extra 200, 250 calories to add to my deficit. I'm gonna go break my fast. Three chicken breasts. I decided to cut them up. There's not a lot of fat in this meal. It's only the residual oils. So what I'm actually gonna do is just sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top of the chicken here. I'm gonna have my aged sriracha. And I like a little bit of honey with my chicken, a little sweet and a little spice. So I'm going to have that with my meal tonight. And uh, yeah, it should go down mighty, smile, mighty, mighty smooth after, uh, man, what are we looking at here? We're looking at about 24 hours of fasting. So after 24 hours of fasting, I'm finally ready to enjoy my... Let's see. How does that look, YouTube? You're getting the first look. <laughs> 